because you want to talk. And, um, <laughs> um, what, what about feedback from the building industry? Uh, have, have you worked with builders uh, or, or developers in, in that respect? We've had a lot of contact from builders and developers. Uh, Eco Housing Villages have approached us. The work in New South Wales Uni was all so building and construction. Yeah? It, was, it was done in the Australian Centre for Construction Innovation. Yeah. And how long do you think this is going to take before it becomes a mainstream uh, resource? Well, you know, it's just about fighting and fighting hard. It's only about fighting and it's about an investment. Yeah, so if there were some investors out there who were putting pressure on the New South Wales government alongside myself, that would be awesome. And if there would be investors who would come in behind the project, then we could have a housing industry starting tomorrow. Yeah. How do we make a how do we make a impact? Can you give us a quick run there? It's predominantly, so the thing that's interesting for me in the hemp plant is the inside, the woody stem, or the herd. The herd of the hemp stem reacts with lime based materials and starts in layman terms to petrify. So you actually it turns from a mineral, from a fibre into a mineral. Uh, so it's that, that, that's what goes on. You know, there's a reaction between the lime and the inside of the hemp stem. And what are we seeing today? Can you explain what we're seeing today? Yeah, what we're seeing today is, unfortunately, the leftover of an old hemp crop because there's no fibre available. We're actually working with both bastards, both herd and bastards, lost most of its bast. It's been mixed with a lime based binder and it's been put into a wall uh, in the hemp embassy. We can take away the holes, you know, so the outside shuttering system, and that was, that's a wall, that's the beginning of a house. Uh, it can be very commercially competitive, but quite a lot of work the New South Wales Uni was on getting to a commercially competitive model because I realised that there's no point in having a sustainable product that cost an awful amount to build with, you know, so it could be very commercially competitive. And just one last thing, could you just give that introduction again for us, please? So, hello, my name is Nikki. 